Okay mga kawawmat, in this video, we will discuss order of operations o tinatawag din natin siyang series of operations. So, our objective will be, we will perform series of operations. So, how do we perform series of operations or order of operations? So, you have to remember the acronym of PEMDAS, okay? So, PEMDAS where P stands for parenthesis. So, ibig sabihin, this is our first step. You have to compute first what is inside the parenthesis. So, ito po yung una natin gagawin. Pag may nakita kayong naka-parenthesis o naka-group sila, ibig sabihin, yun po muna ang dapat nating unahin. Kung wala naman, then you can proceed to the exponent. So, after uh, natin ma-compute yung nasa loob ng ating parenthesis, then pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa exponents. Ito yung maliit na number na nakasubscript, no? So, ito po yun. So, evaluate all the exponents. So, titingnan po natin kung merong exponents. Pag wala namang exponents, we can now proceed to multiplication and division. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang multiplication and division ay nasa step 3 siya. Magkasama siya sa step 3. Bakit po? Kasi hindi ibig sabihin na... Uh, Multiplication ang nauna dito, yung M, e ibig sabihin siya po ang laging mauuna kay division. Hindi po ganon. So, na, since nasa step 3 siya, nasa isang bilang lang siya, kahit ano po ang mauna sa kanila, depende po sa kung uh, uh, we will be working from left to right. So, kung ano po yung nauna sa kanila from left to right, yun po ang uunahin natin. Kung nakita nyo sa series of operation natin na nauna si division bago ang multiplication, then magdi-division muna tayo bago multiplication. Okay? Kung nauna naman si multiplication kay division, magmultiply muna tayo bago mag-divide. So, we will be working from left to right. Depende po kung ano na una sa kanila. So, that is our step 3. And then, our step 4 is we're going to add or, eh, or subtract. So, ito po siya. So, yung step 4 natin, add and subtract. So, we, kagaya po ng same as your M and D. So, yung step 3, we will be working also from left to right. So, ito po, Kapag nauna naman si subtraction sa series of operation natin, magsisubtract muna tayo bago mag-add. So, ito pong dalawa na to ay nasa step number 4. So, again, ulitin ko, hindi porket nauna po dito si addition, e eh, siya po ang mauuna sa ating series of operation. Pag nakita po natin sa series of operation na nauna si subtraction from left to right, then ito po ang uunahin natin. Okay? So, our step 1, the groupings or yung parenthesis natin. And then the exponents, we will evaluate the exponents followed by multiplication and division. And then our step for addition and subtraction. Okay, let's have an example. So example number one. So I have here 7 minus 2 times the quantity of 9 divided by 3 plus 1. Okay, so paano natin gagawin ito? So parenthesis, meron tayo. Ito siya. So ibig sabihin, Ito ang uunahin natin. Okay? So, 9 divided by 3, that is 3. Okay? And then, we will just copy the remaining uh, digits. Okay? So, ayan na po siya. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. And then, baba lang natin since 7 minus 2 and then plus 1. Now, nakuha na natin ito. Meron tayong subtraction, meron tayong multiplication, meron tayong addition. ano mauna? Yes, multiplication muna. Since wala naman tayong exponent, we can now proceed to multiplication and division. Okay, so multiplication tayo. And this one is the uh, multiplication part. So, 2 times 3, that is 6. Okay, so copy natin yung natira. 7 minus and then plus 1. Okay, now, so kagaya nito, we will be working from left to right. Tingnan mo kung ano yung nasa left papunta sa right. So, since uh, subtraction ito ang addition, ma'am, nauna dito si addition. No, hindi po siya ang nauna. Ibig sabihin nito, since same ano lang sila, step, nasa isang bilang sila, kahit ano po ang mauna sa kanila, depende po kung ano yung nasa left. So, since ang nasa left natin ay subtraction, so siya ang uunahin natin. Kasi nasa isang step lang naman ito. Okay? 
So, 7 minus 6, that is 1. And then, bring down natin si plus 1. So, 1 plus 1, that is 2. Let's have the second example. So, I have here 8 minus 1 times 4 divided by 2 plus 6. Okay. So, uunahin natin, wala tayong parenthesis, wala tayong exponent. So, dito na tayo. So, multiplication and division. So, since nauna si multiplication kay division, edi ito uunahin natin. So, multiplication, that is 1 times 4, so 4. And then, copy natin yung mga naiwan. Next, division na tayo. So, ito po tayo, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Okay, and then, copy natin yung naiwan. So, ito na naman tayo, nauna na naman si subtraction. Since siya yung nasa left, siya po yung uunahin natin. So, ito yung isusolve muna natin. So, 8 minus 2, that is 6. So, 6 plus 6, that is 12. Okay. Let's have this one. So, example number 3, 4 plus 6 divided by 2 minus 3 times the quantity of 9 minus 8. So, paano natin siya gagawin? Okay. So, parenthesis. Meron tayo. So, ito muna. So, 9 minus 8, that is 1. So, copy natin yung natira. Now, meron tayong addition, division, subtraction, multiplication. Anong mauna? Multiplication and division. Okay, ito siya. Division and multiplication. So, ano unay natin dito? Ito po. Kasi siya yung nasa left. So, we will have 6 divided by 2. That is 3. And then, copy natin yung remaining. Next, nakuha na natin. Proceed na tayo sa multiplication. So, we have 3 times 1. That is 3. And then, copy yung remaining. Now, we have addition and subtraction. So, ito yung fourth step natin. So, since ito ang nasa left, ito unahin natin. So, 4 plus 3, that is 7. Minus 3, that is 4. Okay, so let's have example number 4. So, I have here 4 times the quantity of 10 minus 6 minus 2 times the quantity of 3 minus 1 cube. Okay, so kukunin natin yung cube nito. Okay, so since ang given natin ay merong dalawang parenthesis, so yun ang uunahin natin. So, this is 3 minus 1, this is 2 cube. Okay. Now, punta tayo dito. So, 10 minus 6, that is 4. So, copy natin si 4 and then yung nakuha natin dito, 10 minus 6, that is 4. And then, copy lang natin to. Okay. Now, after uh, simplifying what is inside the parenthesis, so we're done with that. Next is, we have to evaluate the exponent. So, since meron tayong exponent dito, yan ang dapat nakasunod. So, 2 cube, ibig sabihin, Tatlong beses natin multiply ang 2 by itself. So, 2 times 2, that is 4, times 2, that is 8. So, therefore, we have 8. And then, just copy the remaining. Okay, so we have now 4 times 4 minus 2 times 8. Okay, so anong uunahin natin? Meron tayong multiplication, meron tayong subtraction. Based dun sa ating uh, steps, ang mauuna ay multiplication. So, dalawa ang multiplication natin. So, we will have 4 times 4, 16. 2 times 8, 16. So, 16 minus 16, that is 0. Alright, some mathematical expressions use several grouping symbols. Here are some common grouping symbols. So, ito po yung mga ginagamit natin kapag ang operations natin ay nakagroup. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin kapag meron kang grouping symbols, you have to perform that first. Yun muna ang uunahin muna natin. Okay. So, ano-ano yung mga symbols na yun? Pag may nakita kang parenthesis, brackets, and braces. So, itong tatlong to, this symbolizes that you have to perform first what is inside the parenthesis, the brackets, or the braces. So, kapag nakita nyo na yung mga numbers ninyo ay naka-enclose, alin man sa mga ito, ibig sabihin that is a sign or cue that you have to perform that first. Okay? Yun muna ang dapat mong unahin. Now, ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng mga gamit na to? Okay, so itong tatlo, depende yan. So kapag masyadong, kapag uh, simple grouping lang naman, you can make use of parenthesis. But, 
kapag meron na kayong two or more groupings sa loob ng uh, group nyo, then, magkakaroon ka na ng brackets. At yung parenthesis ay ginagamit natin within brackets. So, mamaya magpapakita ako ng example. So, yung parenthesis ay gagamitin na natin siya. Halimbawa, meron ng dalawang group na gusto mong ipakita. Yung parenthesis ay gagamitin mo para ma-enclose yung two separate groupings mo. Okay? So, nasa loob siya ng brackets. And then, si brackets naman ay makikita mo within braces. Okay? So, nakapaloob naman ito sa braces. So, ang pinaka mag enclose sa kanilang lahat kapag masyado ng marami ang groupings mo ay itong braces. Okay? So, let's have an example. So, example number 5, I have 7 minus. So, ito yung sinasabi ko. Since meron tayong dalawang grouping, so, i-enclose ko to sa parenthesis. Now, eh, nakagroup din siya. So, gagamit ako ng brackets. Brackets na ang kasunod, hindi parenthesis. Kasi yung parenthesis ay ginamit muna para dito. So, nasa loob ang parenthesis ng brackets. Okay? So, I have here, so, uh, group. So, yung itong group na to, ito dapat ang unahin muna natin bago tayo mag-subtract nito sa pinakahuli. So, itong mga to, 2 plus 4, that is 6. And then, 5 minus 2, that is 3. And then, do not forget to copy this operation. So, 2 plus 4, that is 6. 5 minus 2, that is 3. Okay. Now, so I have here 7 minus. Okay, kinopya lang natin yon. Now, nakagroup ito. So, ito po ang dapat nating unahin. Kagaya ng sinabi ko po kanina. Nakapag nakagroup po yan, ibig sabihin, that is your cue, that you have to perform that first. Okay, so 6 minus 3. That is 3. So, we can now subtract. 7 minus 3, that is 4. Okay, let's have another. So, ito po yung sinasabi ko. Merong nakagroup tayo dito na nakaparenthesis. And then, inside that, nakagroup pa siya. So, after mo daw to isolve, you need to add it, uh, add 5. Okay. So, gagamit na tayo ng brackets. And then, after mo tong isolve, lahat ng nandito, minus mo naman siya sa 13. So, gumamit na siya ng braces. Okay? So, ito po ay nakapaloob sa isang grupo na ibig sabihin, ito po dapat ang uunahin muna. Okay? So, let us solve. So, meron tayong parenthesis. So, ito muna. Okay? 3 minus 1, that is 2. And then, copy natin lahat nung naiwan. So, itong squared, yun ang susunod kasi that is an exponent. So, we will perform the exponent 2 squared. So, that is 2 times 2, that is 4. And then, plus 5. So, again ha, nakabrackets pa siya dito. So, 4 plus 5 tayo. Next, copy natin. And then, we will have now, pwede na ba natin i-subtract si 13 minus 4? No, kasi ito ay nakagroup o. Oh. Mag-ibig sabihin, magkasama sila. So, sila muna. So, 4 plus 5, that is 9. So, baba natin ito, copy. And then, 13 minus 9, that is 4. So, we will have now 1 half. Okay, so this is now multiplication. Okay, so pwede na tayo mag-cancel dyan. So, 4 di divided by 2, that is 2. So, 1 times 2, that is 2. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.